what's going on guys alright so today I'm gonna show you guys how to start on Cubase I'm gonna show you guys the basic way to start on Cubase alright so this lesson this this tutorial is for beginners I don't expect you to be watching this tutorial if you're very very good at Q, uh, using Cubase already alright so the first thing you do is of course you click on Cubase 5 you open it when you open it something like this comes up you know you press file over here when you press the file you press new project when you press new project it gives you you know different things you want to do now with Cubase scenes you know you record songs on Cubase um, some people I guess some people are also you know you can also master song on Cubase you edit song on Cubase you're able to do a lot of stuff on Cubase alright so just for just for recording songs okay I usually just go on empty I click on this this base this should this will show up when you open up Cubase 5 I go on empty I double click it when I go on empty it asks me where do I want to store my song okay he asks you that you can say make new folder if you want to make a new folder you can you can name it something like songs for recording or songs for Cubase I already have one song for Cubase so I could just say song for um, or something like my songs you know or something like my recorded songs alright my recorded songs you press ok once you press ok all your projects all your files anything you do it's gonna be stored under that under that um, under that folder basically so now you've opened up the Cubase 5 now to make tracks you gotta right click on over here on this side you press add new track when you press add new track this comes up you have an option to add the track you have the option to make the track mono or stereo or many more you know I usually go between mono and stereo but if I just want to record a track if I want to record a song I usually just stick to stereo I mean to mono I record first with mono and then later on I can bounce like I can um I can uh I can export the song out on stereo anytime you export it's probably gonna be on stereo anyway but it's always good to record with mono because you're able to control you you I mean you're able to control the file more you're able to control it more so go to mono <laughs> you have these counts um you can have up to as much you can have up to maybe 100 um, tracks you can add 100 tracks at once as, as much as you want actually but I usually just add you know like three to four tracks guys I'm telling you do not add tracks that you do not need like if all you need is this one track just put one track if all you need is two tracks put two tracks you can start with like two tracks three tracks if you think you need more later on add more to it but the reason why I'm telling you guys this is cuz if you add a lot of tracks that you don't need it's gonna slow the system down a little bit cuz Cubase is a very strong program so you need that speed for your for, for, for the computer so it's gonna slow your computer down a little bit it's gonna it's gonna basically slow the uh, the Cubase 5 the program that you're running it's gonna slow it down okay so let's have like you know three tracks at once <laughs> okay so this is it now when you when you when you click on it and you go down with it hold on a second click now you go down this is record by the way this is how you record all right this is uh this is when you press on here edit channel setting when you press on here you have this when you click on here you're able to have different effects maybe you want to add echo to that thing you're able to put echo there you put echo see this is on once this is on you can um once this is on basically that echo is on basically you can mess with that echo over here you know you can do all that stuff you want you know do all that crap with it come over here you can add EQ you can do whatever you want I usually don't do this until I finish recording the you know maybe I sing on here until I finish you know actually doing it but some people like to already have something here before they start recording so 
they already know how it's gonna sound okay so that's that guys all right so let's say you want to import your instrumental let's say you already have an instrumental and you want to import it this is what you do right I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna look for a sound this is Lupe Fiasco um last album I'm just gonna pull this I'm just gonna drag it here just to show you guys how it works this is not an instrumental this is just a song but if you want to put anything on here all you gotta do is just click on here drag it drag it drag it drag it till it says zero when it says zero that means it's gonna start from the start then leave it all right let me cancel this when you leave it you press ok when you press ok this is gonna show up this is basically the file all right so I don't have my speakers connected right now but if I play it it's gonna be coming out in my speakers actually hold on a second let me let me connect my speakers just so that you guys can see it well all right let's see Alright guys, so I'm connecting my speaker right now, just so that you can hear it. Alright, so here we go. Okay, it's not coming out on my speaker for some reason. So when you see that it's not coming out on your speaker, this is what you do. You go to device, VST connection. I'm using Lamba. Okay, you cancel that because I'm the 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 the. I'm using Lamba. Okay, so I need to look for the Lamba. So go to device. Come over here. Come over here to VST audio system. Press the Lambda. I'm sorry, it's called Lambda. You press it. When you press the Lambda. You switch to the lambda press ok when you press ok the sound should come out now guys let me reduce it okay still not coming out all right so you go back on air to vst connection see it says output over here input over here the output is not connected so it's not gonna come out i gotta put it to lambda when i put it to lambda cancel it <coughs> Can you guys hear that? You hear that, right? Okay, so that's that basically. All right. So you can have an instrumental here instead of a song, and then you can start recording your song. Just press record. When you press record, this is my microphone. See, right now I'm talking to this microphone. I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm tapping the microphone. You see this sound coming out? This sound is coming out right now. So when I'm recording, I'm just going to be tapping the microphone. Let me just record real quick. Check this out. Actually, hold on a second. When you want to record, you press record over here. And then you press record. It counts. It's like this pre-count thing. So when I'm tapping it, you see? okay all right so let me stop it when i mute it over here right and then i come back over here then i play this you, you guys are going to be hearing that tapping so this is what is playing right now but the volume is so low because i was just tapping the microphone so as long as you have this wave thing around then you're good to go then it's recording okay all right um so today i believe i've covered how to record on cubase and how to import 
a file how to import a song or instrumental onto Cubase okay this is just the basic this is just to get you guys started on how to use this program I'm gonna make more videos I'm gonna teach you guys more on this program but that's just for it